want to welcome everybody to the first annual Iron Hill Dance Challenge. One, two, three. Da -da -da. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about our criteria first. We're going to introduce our chefs. Um, it's a grading on each dish will be broken down as follows. 10 point scale for plate presentation, flavor, taste, originality. First we have Chef Marsh and second we have Chef Perryman. One, two, three. Oh, so now for our unveiling of the secret ingredient. So, gentlemen, on your mark, get set, go! Like Here we go. I'll take that pepper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we're going to do it. This is raw belly here. So we got a little bacon, um, we still have belly. They're kind of working out what they're going to do right now. The chefs are talking to the sous chefs. Now they're going to break this down and uh, really get the dishes going. A lot of, they impart a lot of flavor into their dishes. Again, they only have about 45 minutes, really, you know, the 15 minutes to get it all plated up. You know, we're talking about a lot of plates here. Lot of cuts over here, or you know, maybe some lard arms, or and then over here, Chef Perryman is really taking the time to really plan everything out, get his mise en place together so he could give each one of his sous chefs an opportunity to really begin to fabricate some things, really break some produce down. And you got how long to cook this meat? Ah, you, you know, it, it just depends on what they're doing, you know, it depends on really how long it's going to take. Um, you know, they have probably about 45 minutes. You know, we say that we have an hour, but again, we got to get everything plated up, everything cooked off, and ready to give to the judges in the time. So you got about 45 minutes, a good 45 minutes. Okay, thank you.
question. How many uh, vegetables are you going to be using? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever comes to mind, actually. Uh, trash cans for the or anything? So we what have. Are, what are the two dishes that are they're cooking with? Well, I, we really don't know the two dishes. I mean, nobody's really said anything. Uh, a lot of the things are coming straight off the dome. Their creativity is coming through. We're you know, using a lot of products that we grow in our aquaponics lab. Right now, on the back of the building, Chef Marsh uh, is responsible for that class. So it's really good to see these things going on, just so we can show everybody that you know we're sustainable, just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And what do you need to see preparing over here on your list? Well, this is Okay. The sun-dried tomatoes here. Okay. The puree with some uh, basil, some parsley there. So it's making probably some kind of a rub to on top of the pork. They have something like that for the pork right now. Okay, thank you. I'd like to describe what's going on, but I have no idea myself. Um, being a non-cook. My wife can attest to that. You notice how they clean up after every time. Everyone's busy. The two chefs are busy doing their job as instructed by the by the chef. Jared over here, he's 
dicing up these turnips. He's gonna do a puree with some roasted vegetables and he's searing off some pork belly right now. Chef Perryman is making a dessert. I'm sure it's gonna be wonderful with some candied um, kumquat at the moment. We got our steam. We got our pressure cooker over here with the pork belly in it, trying to cook it really fast, high temperature. Um, it's gonna be amazing. Don't forget about lunch. Five dollars. Become a chef. I've always wanted to cook, be in the kitchen. I like the fast paced environment. I never know what you're going to do. It's uh, hard work and I like the long hours and it feels good at the end of the day. Are you enjoying yourself today? I am a little nervous, but it's working. Have you made this before? No. No? The first time, huh? First time. All right. Good, good. Looks delicious. A little under 44 minutes. So then I tried to find out. Yeah, so he's smoking chocolate. This is a smoking gun here. And so you put the uh, wood chips in the end here, light it, and then cover it with plastic and it imparts the smoked flavor in the chocolate. All right, very good. So he's candy and so How long does that need to go, Chef? Until you get that in? Yeah, as soon as I get this done. Candy and some bacon there. So Usually I'll put it on the blender. And you put it on because it sucks it down for the vortex. It's stronger. It incorporates it faster. So each chef. And two chefs all have a specific thing that they're doing for the meal, right? Yes, well, they have created them once they got here. So he's given each of them a task to do. They seem to be pretty organized and listen to the instructions there because everybody's doing their job. And I'll tell you, all of our students do. You know, this is, this is what we teach every single day here. You know, mise en place, you know, listening to your instructor so that you can be successful. You know, they're, they're just as much a part of this as Chef Perryman and Chef Marshall. You've got a lot of experience in the new instructors here, okay. You sure do, you know, everybody's had multiple years of experience, ownership, from um, being in charge of, you know, large groups of people, um, to doing multiple different uh, styles of service, and uh, we make for a good team here. You know, everybody comes together for a common goal. That's to make sure that we get our students to graduation. Sharpen your knives. Um, as needed. 
could be once a year, could be three times a year. Off with sharp. One of the students here at uh, Tyler Hicks. Uh, Tyler, uh, what do you think of this uh, competition? I think it's going great. Um, it's, they're, I think they're both competing well. And what are you learning? Uh, I'm in buffet class right now, so mm -hmm. I'll be doing the buffet on Thursdays and Fridays. Are uh, you learning from what they're doing out here? Um, yes, I, I've learned a little bit. Here I'm talking to Paula. She's another student here at OSUIT. Paula, how do you like this uh, competition so far? I think it's intense and it's exciting. And uh, how long have you been in the culinary place? I've been in the culinary for about a year now. About a year. And what's your goal? My goal is to have a um, catering business for small weddings. Yeah, uh, where are you from? I'm from Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. Okay, very good. Thank you for Thank talking you. with us. There's a young student here. Ruth Force's daughter. Chef Aaron is explaining to her what's going on. Bruce, uh, you brought your daughter down here. Uh, yep. Took, took, her, took her out of school over the lunch hour today so she could come and see the Steel Chef Challenge. Okay, very good. Thank you. Good for the kids, uh, they get that experience. 
the hecticness of the kitchen mm -hmm. and all these people watching them. So. Next one we need to have the students do it. Yeah. But they're kicking butt. I'm excited. Let's see. Oh, the smoked chocolate is something I want to see. That's what I want to see too. I might have to steal that idea. I'm going to try that. Yes, man. All right. Thank you for talking with us. Hey, you bet. And what are you making here? Oh, like a little warm tomato fennel salad. Taste it. Tastes okay? Need something? Chef Marsh is looking real good right now. 